And lastly, we have Allison Callahan, who's a research scientist in the Center for Biomedical Informatics and a member of the Shaw Lab. Her work involves research and development of informatics methods for the analysis of biomedical and clinical data to derive insights and inform medical decision making. Thank you very much. Uh, so uh, I want to start by thanking the organizers for the opportunity to close out this session. I'm going to talk with you on our experience in the Shaw Lab delivering on-demand evidence via an informatics consultation service at our academic medical center at Stanford. I'll quickly start by acknowledging the great team that I'm part of in delivering this service, our institutional supporters in the School of Medicine and other departments at Stanford, our partners at Stanford Healthcare, and our funding as well. So uh, first, I want to go over what we mean by an informatics consultation service, or the green button service, as some of you may know it. The concept is that when a clinician has a question of the form, what happened to other patients like mine, they can come to our team, and we will provide a report to them that summarizes the experiences of similar patients from Stanford's clinical data warehouse, that is, the common treatment choices that were made for those patients, and their observed outcomes. We have carried out a study of providing this service uh, approved by our IRB over the past two years. You can learn more at greenbutton.stanford.edu. Uh, and also talk with me after this uh, session. So a report that we give back looks like this. This is a real report. On the first page, we provide the clinical question as it was asked to us by the clinician. Our question formulation, so that is our translation of that question into the phenotypes, outcome and exposure definitions relevant to the question and also the type of analysis that you need to do appropriate to the question. And then an interpretation, which is a one to two sentence summary uh, of the analysis uh, so that on the first page, the clinician gets all of the information that they need from our, uh, their question to our translation of that question to an analysis to our short interpretation. Starting on page two, we then go into a deeper dive, giving uh, details on the cohort demographics included in the analysis, uh, including the outcome rates and uh, demographics information, as I said. And then in the case of, uh, say, a survival analysis, which this uh, consult was for, we show the actual output of that analysis in the form of a survival plot in this case, showing that uh, uh, for this question, in fact, patients with mildly elevated serum free light chain test result have worse uh, malignancy free survival than patients with a normal serum free light chain test result. So in uh, providing this service, we have three essential components, uh, the software, data, and personnel. So we developed a search engine, which some of you know at one point was also called Alice, and for obvious reasons is now called ACE. The ACE search engine uh, is a search engine for patient uh, timelines that uses a temporal query language and has sub-second response times for queries to build patient cohorts. We use data from uh, three sources in providing providing this service, uh, EMR data from our uh, health system for approximately 3 million patients, and claims data from two sources uh, that many of you are familiar with, the IBM Truven Market Scan data and the Optum Clinformatics Data Mart, which have uh, 150 million and 50 million lives, respectively. The personnel are the third essential component in offering this service, uh, the, and we have three sort of roles in this uh, uh, team, an informatics physician, an EMR data specialist, that's me in this case, and a data scientist. And I'm going to go into detail about the roles of those uh, people in offering the service. Quickly, the ACE search engine is, as I said, a search engine that uses a temporal query language that allows us to search diagnosis and procedure codes, clinical notes, lab results, vital signs, details on inpatient and outpatient visits, and also patient demographics. And I'm happy to say that as of this presentation, the ACE search engine ingests data in the OMOP CDM so that if you are a system with your data in the OMOP CDM, you can readily use the ACE search engine over your data. Essential to the functionality of the ACE search engine for the consult is also that it gives a view of patient timelines as you are building a phenotype. So here, this shows each patient in a given cohort as a row. The colored portions indicate when in their timeline certain clinical criteria were true or not for those patients. And this has been essential in offering the service because it allows us to quick to combine the phenotyping process with the cohort, phenotype, cohort building step with chart review. So that 
that as you update a phenotype definition, you can immediately see how it changes the cohort that results from executing a search using that definition. And this has been really powerful in, in providing the consult service where we want to provide reports in a very short amount of time. You can see a demo of using the search engine and how it works at this URL. So the process of providing the service involves four people, the physician who requests the consult, an informatics physician, an EMR data specialist, and a data scientist. When we receive a request from a clinician, usually by email, we follow that up with a phone call between our informatics physician, who is a pathologist in our team, who is also informatics trained. That call is uh, essential to refine the clinical question, to go from question to question formulation. When that process is done, Saurabh hands the definition, the question off to me. I use it to create the definitions for exposures and outcome phenotypes relevant to the consult, and I build patient cohorts using that information. I then pass that data set on to our data uh, scientist who performs the statistical analysis relevant to the question. We write a consult report summarizing the results of that analysis, and then we have a session to review the results with the requesting physician and answer any questions that they have with the hope that they can then apply the evidence in the report to a clinical decision that they need to make. We aim to do this in 24 to 72 hours, and the ACE search engine is an essential part of the middle three steps of this process. In addition to the design of our data software and personnel, there are several things that we do to not be wrong in terms of analytics, and I'm happy that there is high overlap with Martine's list of methods validation from earlier today. We didn't coordinate this, but uh, the first thing we do is actually use the cohort method package to do analysis, and so we can include data diagnostics from matching uh, to see the attrition diagrams, balance before and after matching in the cohorts that we use for analysis, so that's been really powerful. We use positive and negative controls to assess the false positive and false negative rates of our analyses and to empirically calibrate effect estimates. We include e-values with every report that quantify the degree of confounding that would have to be present in order to produce an observed effect. We ask the question using multiple data sets when we can and assess concordance across those data sets in terms of results. And lastly, as I said, we schedule an in-person debrief so that we can answer any clinician questions and make sure that they're not interpreting the results that we presented in a way that isn't appropriate. In providing more than 150 of these consults in the past two years, uh, this is a summary of some of the results. We know that the specialties that have asked the most questions are uh, general medicine, internal medicine, dermatology, and cardiology and that clinician feedback to the reports we give has been highly positive. So on the right, what you see is a word cloud that summarizes the most frequently used words to describe the reports that we give back. If you're interested in the, deploying the service at your site, we've summarized our learnings in running the service as a handbook that we're happy to share with you. Um, essentially, what we think the most important aspects are, are if you have data in the OMOP CDM and can use the OMOP tool stack, that's really essential. You want institutional support from where you're going to deploy the service, data science expertise on your team, a way to market the service, and a process to sanity check the data and the consult findings as you produce them. We're going to soon publish our uh, methods for doing this sanity check process in a paper. Uh, I would love if you wanted to come and talk with me after this at my poster 79 to learn about the next phase of our study, measuring the utility and use downstream of this informatics consult service and how we're deploying it uh, in Stanford Healthcare. Uh, also, I'll say that we are hiring positions uh, for this project and others, so if you want to learn more about that, come and talk with me or Nigam as well. Thank you.